DJ AFK here, back with another video. Today we're going to do equipment repair. Uh, this is a Serwin Vega CVA 28. Uh, CVA 28. This is about a 10 year old plus model uh, professional audio. It is the uh, amp built in, uh, two subwoofers, and a mid driver. Uh, we did have some damage recently. Uh, this took a tumble from about six feet. You can see some scratches on the sides. That's that's all it did to the uh, the nice solid wood cages. Uh, this outer subwoofer at the top is seized, and we are going to replace that. That is a WOFP eight zero two zero two, and the eight zero two zero two is the eight inch two inch voice coil, dual speaker. Uh, the one on the bottom is a WFP 80201. It is a single subwoofer. Let's move this out of the way. I have um, already removed all of the screws except for one. I would advise that you leave one in the upper center portion because the cage will kind of roll downwards out towards you uh, and if you are going to use any type of an impact driver especially on putting the screws back in place be very careful not to over torque them but go ahead and hold on to the cage to take out the last screw And it should pop loose. If it doesn't, you may want to leave the screw slightly inside and tap on the side, and that should bust the, uh, the seal loose. Okay, so we'll go ahead and set this face down. I was already inside here to diagnose the speaker. So we do have uh, the wires zip tied to the side here just so they're not floating around inside. We'll go ahead and remove those. And get the screws out of the bottom of the speaker here. Now the compression driver, the vocals, the mids here just actually unscrew now from the factory that may be really tight they seem to lock the threads down pretty good but it does just unscrew and we will set that aside now one thing that is interesting these are supposed to be 8 ohm speakers. This voice driver is also supposed to be 8 ohms. But when you uh, actually hit it with a meter, this one 6.6 .6 ohms. The busted one, the coil is actually still good. It's just, it came out of the cage. This is 5.6, uh, it's reading 5.5 .5 right now. I uh, don't know if you can read that correctly. And the other one is also 5.6. Uh, reading 5.5 .5 at the moment. The new one, uh, we will check that momentarily, is also 5.6 interesting tidbit. Uh, that is opposed to this 80s style realistic speaker right here that is an 8 ohm speaker and reads 8.0 ohms. Uh, I don't know if you can see that there. 8.0. So it's not just my meter. These are actually 5.6, 5.5 ohm speakers. Now, once again, be careful while removing and reinserting the screws. If you're using any type of a driver, especially an impact.
these can be pretty hard to resource at the moment. Um, I ended up finding this one on eBay. It is brand new. Let's see, this is from uh, Brew City Audio. Came with a nice, uh, nice meme that's pretty accurate. Don't always listen to Serwin Vega, but when I do, so do my neighbors. All right, so let's set this one over here. As you can see, it did take some paper damage. Uh, the center cone cap did end up coming out and getting lodged in here, but this is fully locked up. You can see how it protrudes from the top um, and won't go anywhere. It, it came out of the cage and came in at an angle and got stuck against the metal. The coil still does have correct resistance, but that's not going to make any sound. If it does, it's going to make a really bad sound. Let's go ahead and install this sucker here. As you can see, it moves nice and freely. The center aluminum cap is to separate the subwoofer noise from the voice noise. So that way it protrudes without interfering with the frequencies. So we'll position this with the terminals towards the center of the cage towards the other speaker. That way our wires don't have to reach all the way over the side and possibly get caught. Make sure we are lined up correctly. Uh, since this is a new speaker and has not been previously installed, make sure you align all four screws. Uh, the old one will have a groove in it where it has been screwed down to this and the and the seal has kind of made it spot so it'll set right in place but the new one does not that is nice and tight go ahead and get those started by hand Make sure you have your lock washers inside. We don't want that to rattle apart. And we will tighten these down. I do like to give slight torque to each corner, kind of like putting on a tire or putting on a air intake. That way we seat evenly all the way. We'll go ahead and plug these in. Uh, they should be reverse of each other because if you turn it the opposite direction, uh, if you could imagine that this is turned 180, the black wire would go on this side, which means if you roll it around, the black wire would go on the opposite side. Uh, these are essentially the same speaker. 
except this one has the threads in the back and the hole for the compression driver to make noise from. Make sure you get the terminals connected snugly, but go ahead and uh, hold them up while you're plugging it in. You don't want to bust the plastic. That's always a pain when that breaks. And we'll screw this in place. Make sure it is seated correctly. You don't want to start stripping it as you screw it in. If you give that a, a slight counterclockwise turn until it falls in place, then you can turn it clockwise until it is tight. It is quite a few turns. Make sure that is nice and tight on there. We don't want that to rattle loose. Then the speaker connections themselves, pretty obvious. These are color coded. Red to red, black stripe to black. And I like to give those a, a pull in the upward direction just to kind of seat that wire in place so it uh, can't move around. All right, now that that is complete, this one goes on top. Go ahead and flip that back up. Set that in place, make sure that the bottom doesn't come back up towards us. And start by reinserting some screws. Uh, the first couple that you try to put in the cage will be offset just a slight bit, so be very careful not to start stripping those out. And we'll repeat that 16 times. And there you have it have a nice newly refurbished CDA 28. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay safe.